What we believe about the afterlife influences how we live. For example, if I said that Jesus was coming back today at 6 p.m., you would change the mundane day that you have planned and try to find something more meaningful to be prepared for when Jesus comes back. Or let's say you don't believe there's an afterlife at all, that when you die, you die. You're going to do all that you can to take and grasp and to steal and to have all that you can on this earth because you want to make the most of it before you die. As a pastor, I often find that my friends at church often take the afterlife for granted. We take the ideas that we've received from our traditions, um, from family, from popular books, and we sort of make in that into our own theology of the afterlife. Whether it's really biblical or not, this is sort of what we believe. Well, this week, I want to invite you to read the Believe Scriptures on the afterlife and on death and the return of Jesus. And I want to give you permission to unbelieve a few things that maybe you've always sort of thought and begin to allow God's Word to begin to shape a new theology of the afterlife, of eternity in your hearts and in your minds. Let's see how it impacts how we live our lives when we begin to realize that eternity begins today and goes forever. My hope and prayer is that God's Word will begin to replace the fear with a new amount of hope. I'm Pastor Eric Spivey at First Baptist Cornelia, where we are seeking to think, act, and become more like Jesus.